I'm Madison and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Mad Crafty. Today I have my baby girl Milana on my right and my baby boy Niccolo on my left and they are gonna help me with the video because it is all about them. Thank you. Good kill. Thank you. So as you can tell from the title, I got 10 portraits of my dogs done by 10 different Etsy artists. I cannot wait to show you. I cannot wait to open them up. I haven't seen most of them. So let's get started. So Michelo has gotten his portrait done in person before, so we kind of have a growing collection of him. But since Milan is a puppy, we don't have any of her yet. So I thought this video would be a fun way of adding to the collection while also supporting artists on Etsy. So I decided to choose 10 artists who have completely different styles. And just to break it up and show you a variety, I got five portraits that physically came in the mail and I got five digital portraits and that basically means that you're getting a file sent to your email and you can do what you wish with it. You can, you know, give it to Shutterfly or Tiny Prince or whatever you wanna do. Uh, so yeah. Also, I have not seen a lot of these yet. Um, I chose to wait for them all to come so I can open them all in one sitting, although I did see two or three because some artists required um, notes to be given, so I had to look at those. So I'll let you know which ones those are, but most of them I have not seen, so I'm really excited. And then quickly before I start, I am not going to include what I paid for each portrait, and the reason is because often when you go on Etsy, you'll see that there is a drop-down menu for price options. It is all based on how many dogs, or if it's just the head or full body, as well as sizing. Perhaps you want yours printed or sent digitally, the prices totally vary, so, you know, it kind of all depends. But of course, I will be attaching the links and everything you need to know in the description box below, so definitely check it out. So without further ado, let's start with our first digital image. This was sent to me via email. This is from FZTune45, coming to us from Indonesia. Uh, I actually already saw this one. Here is the reference photo that I gave him. Uh, he actually didn't have dogs advertised on his Etsy page like most of the artists I use do. He actually had a lot of people, but I loved his style. So I reached out to him and I said, hey, do you think you could do my dog? He said, sure, send me a picture, I'll make it work. He did and I absolutely love how it turned out. I love like the comic book superhero vibe. I definitely wanna get some of myself and my boyfriend and our other dog done by him too. So I really, really, really love it. Thank you, Fozzie. Uh, I hope I'm saying that correctly for your beautiful work. I cannot wait to print it and put it on some cool stuff. Okay, next up, let's open one from one of the envelopes. This is from The Art of Rachel. She comes from New Jersey. And now let's open it up. Okay, here it is in this little sleeve. Okay, I think you're seeing it first. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love this. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. This looks very much like the pups. I love her handwriting. This is gonna go perfect in a frame. And yeah, amazing job, Rachel. I love this. I cannot wait to show my boyfriend because these are our dogs and I cannot wait to frame it. This is darling, <laughs> so darling. <laughs> oh, and the art of Rachel also included her business card and the little froggy sticker. I love stickers. If you see some of my past videos, I talk about stickers all the time. Uh, so that's really cute. I'll add that to my collection. Okay, so the next artist is Kitty Cat Sticks coming from Texas. This is the reference photo that I used and I have to look at it on my phone because this is one that was sent to me. Uh, so let's see. Oh my gosh, so cool, so different. Okay, this one is very abstract as you can see. Lots of colors. Um, Totally a different vibe, but really, really cool. This is like a very crafty, I feel like it's like a magazine cutout kind of vibe, even though I believe it was probably done on Procreate, but wow, very, very cool. I kind of just want to like cut her out uh, and like put her on things. This would be, you know what this would be? This would be an amazing sticker. Um, really good, I actually might turn it into a sticker. I'm, de I'm definitely gonna turn it into a sticker. Um, this is really cool, I love this. Uh, uh, this artist, I remember, definitely has a lot of different kind of styles that they, or as a company, or I don't really know, it doesn't uh, have exact name on who made this, but whoever did it, beautiful job, I, I love it. Okay, let's open up another one. So 
This pink package is from Laura. This artist comes from Connecticut, which is not too far from me. Um, here is the reference photo that I gave her. I just punched myself in the face. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the cute packaging. It's got like banana washi tape with some tissue paper. Okay, let's see. Oh, gotta open it up more. Okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh. So good. Wow. Oh my gosh. It looks exactly like the picture. Just gorgeous. I am, I am so, you know, I am, there is Niccolo barking right now at the food delivery. Um, all of the artists I chose, you can see their work, uh, of course, before you buy. So I am not surprised that this is gorgeous. I love, love, love it. She totally captured him. And I love, I love her style. She does like the, the watercolor in the back and you can actually pick whichever color you want for the back of a, uh, back of your pet i told her to choose whichever she thought um was best so i like the color that she chose but you can totally customize it this is just just so beautiful i absolutely love this gorgeous 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 also before we move on to the next one i just want to mention that all of these artists when you go onto their etsy shops they don't only do uh this kind of design. Some artists offer four different, five, six, seven, you know, some do a cartoon, some do pencil, some do just the lining of your dog. There are so many options. All of these artists had, you know, many things to choose from. I just kind of chose what my eye went to first, but make sure you go and check out their entire shop before you make your decisions because they're really very um, multi-talented. There's lots of cool stuff they're doing. So just know that. Okay, so this next artist is Love Lines, coming to us from Canada. Uh, this is the reference photo that I gave, and let's open up the file on my phone now so we can see it. Canada, okay. Whoa! Again, so unique, uh, so, so cool. I, I can't wait to hang these up. Uh, I always, I always said that these two photos, it looks like Michelow is telling a joke and his little sister Milana is laughing at it. So that's why I gave him both of them to do. Uh, they're, they're beautiful. I love, um, I love the, you know, the line. He's called Love Lines, of course. You know, I knew it was gonna be something with like a, a long line. I love how there is the name at the end of the line. Really beautiful, um, really intricate, really, you know, abstract. Uh, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Yay, okay, let's look at more. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna open up another one. This one comes all the way from the Ukraine. It is Baby Code Crafts. The artist's name is Tanya. Uh, this is the reference photo I used. And let's open it up. This has got tape all over it. Oh my gosh, this wrapped in ribbon. This is so cute. Look. Baby Code Craft sticker. Nice little ribbon. I thought that would be cooler. Sorry, I'm just gonna open it myself. Okay. I thought, I thought it was on the other side. Okay, whoops. Okay, ready? Oh my God. My boyfriend is gonna freak out over this one. This is, this is, I need to open up so you can see it's full beauty. I'm sorry, how gorgeous. Perfect, in the background again, the dog. I can't, this is stunning. Stunning! This is so beautiful. I have to send him a picture right now. I can't, it can't. It can't wait. Yeah, this is. I don't know what to say. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm like loving all of these. You can see they all have totally different styles, which is why I wanted to. You know, uh, that's why I did it. That's why I picked ten different artists for ten different styles. And wow, this is just. It's beautiful. Okay, amazing, amazing from the Ukraine.
All right, so the next one I'm gonna open up is from Juliet. She comes from the Ukraine. She is uh, Juliet Art Room on Etsy, and I actually did see this uh, already because she asked for notes. I actually had two photos and I asked her if she could put both of my pets into one shopping cart because um, I wanted them to both be, you know, in one and I didn't have a perfect picture of them in one. So she was very accommodating and this is what she came up with. So adorable. So I actually ended up printing this one out because I already saw it and I used it for the cover of my boyfriend's Valentine's Day card. Uh, and he, he loved it, it was really cute. This is kind of like, I don't know, this one's kind of cartoony. Again, would make, you know, a really great sticker. I am definitely though gonna print it out on really nice paper so that it could get that quality finish. I'll probably use, I don't know, Shutterfly or something, but yeah, I love it. Thank you so much, Juliet. Okay, next up we have Pretty Prismatic Art coming to us from Florida. The artist's name is Katrina. This is the reference photo that I gave her. And let's open up the file. Okay, found it. Wow! Oh, this is so cool. Very, um, very minimalist. Minimalistic? No? Let me look it up. Yes, it is a word. Very minimalistic. Um, I love this. Very, you know, I can picture him like a blown up on a big white wall. Really cool. Uh, really like and simple in a way. Just simple and sophisticated. And really good job. Really nice. These are all gonna be so cool. <laughs> So excited. In my mind's eye, I kind of have like, you know, walking in a hallway and the first thing you see is this big wall with like tons of portraits of our dogs. I don't know. Just me? I don't know. That, that, that's what I want. <laughs> okay, so this next one comes all the way from Italy, which is really exciting. I actually was in Italy two summers ago. It was incredible, amazing. Uh, this is the reference photo that I used. No, a more serious picture of Niccolo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, first of all, this is beautiful. Second of all, this makes me laugh because this totally captures a part of his personality. He's a small dog, but he's got a lot of personality and sometimes he's kind of like, I don't give a f he just doesn't care sometimes. And um, this, <laughs> this is totally the face that he gives you when he's in that mood. I love how she got his little black ear hairs in the end. This is a beautiful watercolor. Um, this is his very regal self when he's his most fluffiest. I feel like he looks like royalty. And this is beautiful. I love this. I love this. I've loved all of them. They're all, they're all so different and so gorgeous and everyone is so talented. Oh. Mwah. Thank you from Italy. Thank you. And then last but not least, number 10. Um, I actually opened this already because this was a gift for my boyfriend. This whole idea actually came from this. I wanted to get a uh, drawing done of one of our dogs, Milana, for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day. And I contacted um, EJ, got it done, and then said, oh my gosh, should be this would be a great video. I should get nine more and have think of 10 portraits done of the dogs. So this is where it all started from and I've already seen it. It is beyond gorgeous. Um, this comes from Arkansas and I thought that was special because uh, our dog Milana also is from Arkansas. So I knew it was perfect. This was the reference photo that I gave him and this is what he did. I mean, no words for me. All done in pencil, absolutely stunning. The perfect way to end the 10 portraits of the dogs. And then because I know you're curious, uh, for 10 portraits, I spent close to $300, which I think is an incredible deal with all the amazing artwork I received. So. This was such a fun video to do. I can't wait to do it again. Maybe I'll do one a year if the dogs can pick 10 more artists or if there's an artist that you love that you want me to, I don't know, uh, shed light on, definitely comment below. And I should probably bring the dogs back because they're cuter. Thank you. I know you love it. I think she loves it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you could give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to see more crafts. You can find me on Instagram at Mad Crafty, and you can find them on Instagram at Nick and Milana. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Right, guys? You're doing so good, buds. I know. I love you.
I love you. Good girl.